Universal Studios producer, director, Mrs. B. Scene one. Hello, boys and girls around the world. And yes, my name is Mrs. B, and I'm a teacher in the United States. I'm so glad that you're able to join me today for a very special read aloud. But before we begin, I have a hello song just for you. And this is how it goes. Hello, boys and girls around the world. Hello, boys and girls around the world. How are you? How are you? I'm glad you're here to read and learn. We know we'll have some fun today. We love school every day. And so will you. I know, Mrs. B, please stop singing. You have a terrible singing voice. Well, boys and girls, I wanted to share a song just for all of you. Boys and girls, the uh, book that I have selected for today's read aloud is called Green Eggs and Ham. This book was written by Dr. Seuss, so he is the author of the book. And the person that drew the pictures is called an illustrator. And that person just so happens to be the same person who wrote the book. You guessed it, Dr. Seuss. Boys and girls, you'll see very many uh, children's books where the author and the illustrator are the same person. They're just very talented to be able to do that. Boys and girls, this is the front or the cover of the book. If we turn it over, this is the back of the book. Let's turn it back over to the front. Boys and girls, looking at the title and the picture, what do you think the story is going to be about? Yes. It's about green eggs and ham, and I wonder if they're going to be eating green eggs and ham, and who will be eating it, boys and girls. We shall find out. But before we begin, we need to go over some sight words. There are a lot in this story, and you need to recognize them. Also, you'll be learning these sight words in kindergarten class as well. Boys and girls, Every letter of the alphabet uh, makes sounds. Sounds put together make words. Words make sentences. And sentences make paragraphs. And paragraphs make great writing or great stories. So let's begin. I. So I say it, you say it. I say it, you say it, I say it, and you say it. A. Is. In. Am. To. Come, like, good job boys and girls, see, th makes the th sound, the, my, We and at 
here on last page up look <clears throat> go th again the sound this It, me. Good job, boys and girls. Now, I want you to pay very close attention to Mrs. B. So I want all eyes and ears on me. Boys and girls, reading means understanding the author's message. It's not just about calling out a bunch of words. If you cannot answer comprehension questions after reading a page, you have truly not read anything. So I'm going to be asking questions throughout the story. At the end, I have a little test. So that will really tell me if you are paying attention. And then also, I have two fun activities that you can do at home with your family members. So boys and girls, are you ready to begin? This is called the inside cover. It looks like there is green eggs and ham. And I am Sam. Boys and girls, this is Sam. And is Sam happy or sad? Happy. And what is this word right here? I. You were paying attention. That's one of your sight words. I am Sam. Now, how does he feel? Is he happy or sad? Sad. Sam, I am. And what is this word? Am. Boys and girls, there's a lot of rhyming words in this book. That Sam I am, that Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Whoa. And he show, sure is showing it, isn't he? Boys and girls, when we read, do we read left to right or right to left. We read left to right. We go to the next line and read left to right. Go to the next line and read left to right. And in the last line, left to right. Good job, boys and girls. Do you like green eggs and ham? Mm, I don't know if I would eat that, boys and girls. Would you eat that? Yes or no? Mm, some of you are brave out there. I do not like them, Sam. I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. He's like, ah, don't give it to me. Stop. Would you like them here or there? So here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and 
am. I do not like them, Sam. I am. <clears throat> I'm still carrying the tray full of the green eggs and ham. Nobody has touched it. Ugh. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? Ugh, there goes the mouse, boys and girls. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with the, what rhymes with box? A sly fox. Good job, boys and girls. Box, fox are rhyming words because they both end in O-X. Box, fox. And there is the fox in the box. Not in a box. Not with a fox. Not in a house. Not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. How many times does he have to say no, boys and girls? Is he on top of the hill or on the bottom of the hill? He is on top of the hill. Good job, boys and girls. Would you, could you, in a car, eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. Boys and girls, is the car going up or is the car going down the hill? It is going down the hill. Good job. You may like them, you will see, you may like them in a C, what rhymes with C? Tree, good job, so proud of you. I would not, could not in a tree. Not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. Do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. Do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and Ham, I do not like them, Sam. I am. Thanks for helping me, boys and girls. I do appreciate it. What's next, boys and girls? Let's make a prediction. A prediction is when you guess what's going to happen next based on the clues in the words and also pictures. And that tells you to predict what happens next. 
Making predictions right or wrong makes you a good reader, not a bad reader, boys and girls. So what do you think is next? It goes choo-choo, choo-choo, choo-choo. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you on a train? This train reminds me of the book, The Little Engine That Could. Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I would not, could not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. <coughs> Excuse me. A froggy. <coughs> I will not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. And boys and girls, we already did box and fox. But here we have mouse and house. They both are O U S E. Good job. Those are two rhyming words there, too. And so are ham and Sam. I am. So ham and Sam, because they both have A M. In the middle and the end. Say, in the dark, here in the dark, would you, could you in the dark? I would not, could not in the dark. They are in a tunnel, boys and girls, and there is a light to get out of the tunnel. Would you, could you in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain. Not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere and there they are coming out of the tunnel the dark tunnel you do not like green eggs and ham i do not like them sam i am Could you, would you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. And boys and girls, is the train going up or down? It is going down the tracks and there is the goat. Would you, could you on a boat, a yellow boat? I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with the fox. I will not eat them in the house. I do not like them with the mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. Oh, I wonder if they're going to mention something else.
Let's find out, shall we? I do not like green eggs and ham. Now he's getting very angry, boys and girls. How many times must I tell you I do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam. I am. Now they're underwater. You do not like them, so you say, try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Hmm. Is he going to give up and finally eat the green eggs and ham, boys and girls? Yes or no? Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You're right. You will see. Oh, putting it in his mouth. Wonder what's going to happen. Will he like it? Or he won't like it, boys and girls. Boys and girls, did he like it? Or he didn't like it? I say he liked it. Let's find out. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a, what rhymes with boat? Goat. And I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train and in the car and in a tree. They are so good, so good you see. So I will eat them in a box and I will eat them with the fox. I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with the mouse, and I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. Now everybody looks happy, boys and girls. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sam, I am. Looks like they're friends, boys and girls. The end. Boys and girls, what did you think of the story, Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss? If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it, give it a thumbs down. I gave it a thumbs up because Dr. Seuss books are very popular. You can't go wrong. So I was glad to share this one with all of you. Now, boys and girls, are you ready for your test? I have some questions to ask you. And then you have two fun activities at the end with your family to do at home. Are you ready? All right, here's your test. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Fill in the blank. Sam, I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a, what rhymes with house? Mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them. Hmm. What's the answer, boys and girls? Anywhere. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a, what word rhymes with box? Fox. Would you, could you put them in a car? Eat them, eat them. 
Here they are. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a what rhymes with C. Tree. I could not, could not in the rain, not in the dark, not on a what word rhymes with rain? Train. Not in the dark, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam. You see? You do not like them, so you say, try them, try them, and you... What rhymes with say? May. Last one. I do so like green eggs and ham. Blank, blank, Sam I am. Thank, thank you, thank you, Sam I am. Moms, dads, I haven't forgotten about you. Grandparents, older brothers and sisters, I have a fun activity for you. I want you to make like a picture frame right here. It says, I love green eggs and ham and some kind of border and then a square box in the middle in the center. So write on another paper, I love green eggs and ham and let the child write it on their own on top of where this picture is going to go. And what you're going to do is take a photo of your child and you're gonna glue it right here in the center. And then they're going to put their name here, I am. Instead of Sam I am, it's going to be your child's name, I am. That's the first part. Then I want you to make a egg yolk or eggs. And this is the yolk in the middle. You're going to cut out the center circle. So that when placed over the picture, your child can see through the egg. I thought that would be pretty cool. And then when you're done, you can share it with your family members or you can take it to school and share it with your teacher and classmates during show and tell. Next, I have some Sam I Am name tags. So you can get a copy of the book. You can borrow it from your local public library, or you can buy it on uh, Amazon or buy it at, from your nearest bookstore. And then you can have a little party um, at your house called Green Eggs and Ham Party. And then you can, you know, make some name tags and put the child's name that's attending your party and your child's name and put their name, I am, and then some little hats, or you can decorate the way you want within the name tag. And then cut them out, and then you can pin them on the child at the party. How cool would that be? So much fun. Boys and girls, I have one last treat for you. I have a visitor in my classroom. And no, it's not the Siberian tiger behind me, boys and girls. He protects me in my mini classroom, and this is also my office, and this is inside of my house in, within the state of Michigan. And in the corner here, I have a round table that I work with students seven days a week, and also I have a dry erase board, a big one on a stand. I do a lot of writing when I'm teaching. So let's see who's my other assistant, because I have so many. Oh, it's my friendly, good monster. Oh, thank you for joining Mrs. B and all of the boys and girls around the world. Would you like to help to say goodbye to all of them? Oh, he would. Boys and girls, reading is fundamental. And thank you for joining Mrs. B in today's Read Aloud. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. Say goodbye.